In this video, we'll copy some more walls to multiple floors. So we've placed our walls. We've talked about some of the base constraint, um, the top constraint, as well as working with the elevations. So let's take a look at how our walls were placed into this model. So I'm going to go to my 3D view. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide. It looks like we've got a crazy wall sticking out here. How did that happen? So let's see. Ah, we have an additional trim we need to do. This one didn't trim down. So let's select it. And let's just drag this bad boy all the way up. Snap it to our exterior wall and get that nice automatic clean wall join. So now we're ready to go to that 3D view. And I'm just going to temporarily hide this wall right here. So we'll come down here. I'm going to click on my glasses and I'm going to hide that element just temporarily. So I'm going to select any one of these so I can get a good orbit going around. So you can see what we did. We placed our walls in here. I'm going to go in here really nicely. And we know that it, we're in business here because it's we could see our edge lines just right underneath that floor. So it's butting up right against that floor. All right. So definitely something we want to keep in mind as we're placing the rest of these floors. So let's look at the elevation for our next floor so we know what to do when we're copying these up. Oftentimes, floor levels aren't exactly the same. So let's go to, I believe it was our west elevation here. So we know, take care of this one. So I know the floor to floor height for here is going to be, I can measure it or just do the math. It's going to be 15 feet minus the thickness of our floor, which will be 14. And that rule will pretty much apply going all the way up. Except when we get to this top floor. And I'm going to keep that dimension there just for reference. So we need to do 14 feet for level 2 and 3, and we'll have another measurement for the top level. So let's go ahead and go to, let's say, a level 1. And what I want to do is I want to copy those up and then do a quick adjustment. So we'll go level 1. I'm going to select one of my floors. I'm going to right click. And this is a really helpful tool if you're doing something that we're doing right now. I'm going to get out of this really quick and I'll get in a much better view here. Is having the ability to basically select multiple objects by selecting one. So we'll select that one interior wall, right click in our space, it will have select all instances in this view and it highlighted all my six inch generic walls. Didn't get any of the thicker walls on the outside or the curtain walls we placed on our areas of egress. Only the walls we highlighted. Only that particular type. Super helpful tool. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and use our copy, right? So I'm going to say Control C. Now it's copied to my pasteboard or my clipboard. Come over here. I'm going to say Align to Selected Levels. And let's just do Level Two for right now. So we'll say Level Two, Apply. Now I can jump to my 3D view and take a look at what happened here. So we can see we are in business with our walls here. These are fitting nicely, perfectly. So 15 feet there, 15 feet there, made everything work lovely. So I can copy these up, so I'm going to do the same thing again. So I can say, I'm going to align it to another selected level. This time I'm going to do level 3. Boom, automatically populates it for us. Now let's do level 4 again. Level Align to selected levels. I'm going to say 4 this time. Now you'll see what happens when we have the variation in floor-to-floor uh, -floor height. So not a problem at all. What we can do now is go to this particular level, highlight all those walls, and then we'll use our attach tool to attach all those to the bottom here for now until we get a ceiling in place. All right. So let's go on ahead and do that. So we're going to go to level 4. I'm going to select all my interior walls by going from left to right. I'm going to hold down control again. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now you can see I'm highlighting some of those reference planes. I really don't want that. So I'm going to do a filter selection here. I'm more concerned with my walls. So now I'm going to jump to 3D view. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Should have done that all in our plan view, but it's okay. So what we can do here is I'm going to select these walls and I can say attach to there. So the repetition will be a really nice exercise for us again. So I'm going to select multiple by selecting a wall, holding down control, 
and now I can do this. Now had I tried to do the select all instances in view, what would have happened was it would have selected all the walls on every single floor that are visible in my view. I'm only concerned with making the adjustment to these guys because they're actually going through my roof because the top floor is a little bit uh, has a lower floor to ceiling height. So now I can just say attach to my roof and I can do multiple walls all at once. So there we go we just sketched in our walls and we also made some adjustments um, playing around with the elevations, the top offset, base offset as well as using our attach a tool here in the modify wall panel. All right, so now that those are in place, I'm going to jump to level one. We have all of our levels pretty much satisfied. Let's go ahead and clean up our model a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything here. I'm going to go to filter. And really, all I want to see here is I just want to see my model elements. I don't want any more uh, reference things getting in the way. So I'm going to say check none. I'm going to select all my reference plans say apply and OK. We'll hit the red X in the modify panel and get rid of it. And now we're at a much cleaner model here. And again, as we start developing this design, we can get rid of some of these things a little bit later on. I still like to have them in place as a reference, just in case I need them as I'm designing. All right, so that's how we sketch walls in place. And that's how we can use the attach tool to get them attached uh, to the correct level or the correct element they need to be attached to. All right, so in the next video clip, I'm going to show you how we can work with area and create a nice simple area plan and we'll talk about how we can divide up spaces and create a nice color fill region for that plan.